Greetings, fellow insomniacs. It's your friend and fright, Chunky Larry, from the Ghoul Kids Table podcast. A good friend of mine, Just Death, recommended that I watch the 2012 film, Would You Rather? And I didn't really have an option. She kind of physically threatened me. Uh, but I did watch it, and I do have opinions. And you will hear them in this week's Creature Features. Desperate to help her ailing brother, a young woman unknowingly agrees to compete in a deadly game of Would You Rather, hosted by a sadistic aristocrat. Would You Rather is a 2012 horror film directed by David Guy Levy. Levy? Levy? We're going to go with Levy. Uh, it, it could be Levy. I, I would Levy either way. Uh, he also directed the film the mandela effect which if you haven't seen the mandela effect here with me <laughs> this stars britney stowe and jeffrey combs who's just in his fucking element in this it, it's it's so fun to watch jeffrey combs be sadistic and playful and kind of a dick he really just is the heart and soul of this movie for me uh, that was what i was enjoying watching the film it, it certainly wasn't sasha gray's acting though uh, you know just not hard on the eyes uh, but yeah the in in terms of performances the performance to watch is jeffrey combs i understand that you know this film has an audience that enjoy it and it has quality moments but the thing that really kind of irks me the most about it is the, the performances with the exception of jeffrey combs who's fucking great i give two goddamn fucks about britney snow the, the character iris it, you know what is she you know you, you you get introduced to her and she's you know taking care of her brother but you don't really understand who she is and then she's put in this situation and you, you're you're more concerned about is she going to be able to take care of her brother not her and you know even when they're doing because this is a series of stunts that they have them go through and you know their set pieces and it's like it's like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory uh, where Jeffrey Combs is Willy Wonka and he's just <laughs> he's got his little oopa loopas that <laughs> cart the fucking people one by one each different little set piece there's eight fucking people so you know you gotta, you gotta kill people off real quick dad from home alone BAM you're done, son. I just, I didn't care about anybody. The, the closest I would get is probably the Lucas character. Uh, he he seemed like he was trying to do the right thing at all times. But you never understood why. You don't understand shit about these fucking people. The only person that you're given any kind of context to is Iris. And she isn't a strong enough actress that you give a shit about her. And... So then you're left with Jeffrey Combs, who's just fucking crushing it, <laughs> and, and then these fucking cool death sequences. And the torture and the violence in these death sequences is just great. I fucking have a lot of fun with that. But, you know, again, it's, it's like you're mirroring the glee of Jeffrey Combs' character. Robin Lord Taylor, whose name is ridiculous, and he stars on the show about Batman that I've never given a fuck enough to watch. It, he plays this kind of, you know, B-rate villain in, in the vein of, like, Get Out. 
like the the brother in Get Out. He, he, that's what uh, that character reminds me of. Where he's he's just hostile for no good goddamn reason, and he, he's kind of useless in the grand scheme of things. So it, it, it's just I, I felt like it, it's like there's there's all of these you know character actors, comedic actors in this film but the only one that shines through is Jeffrey Combs the violence is good for what it is it escalates at an even pace and you really get to feel the violence as it's happening specifically with the whipping stuff like that shit progressively gets more fucking uncomfortable and, and that fucking works for it Sasha Gray's character is making all of the right decisions but she's looked at as like the bad guy the character development is not there in a way that makes you care about the people that these things are happening to so in that essence nothing means anything and if nothing means anything then why are we fucking here overall i thought that this was kind of a middle of the road movie saved through the saving grace of jeffrey combs and it's sadism. I'm going middle of the road with this. I will field all of the angry messages from Jess when she inevitably hears this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give this two and a half uh-huh. out of five. But, but that is going to do it for us this week or this episode. Uh, I am going to continue making these. If you have a suggestion for something that you want me to cover on the show, uh, you know, definitely put it in the comments and let me know where I can fucking stream it. I will give it a fucking day in court. But for Jeffrey Combs and for myself again, when it was Jimkey, it's been another Creature Features. Listen, someone you trust. <laughs>